A very wonderful morning to my esteemed listener. I am Yemi Graceman Adoloju, lead pastor, Lighthouse International Christian Center, Samanda UI Road, Ibadan, Nigeria. I am welcoming you to today's edition of our program, Daily Impact. For our prayers, as we start this new week, we're looking at the book of Psalms, chapter 84 and verse number 11. The Bible says, For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory, and no good thing will he be told from those who walk uprightly. The Lord God is a sun. The Lord God is a shield. This week, the Lord will be your sun. The Lord will be your shield. The Lord will illuminate your life it will illuminate your path. You will not walk in darkness this week. There will be no darkness around you. There will be no darkness around your family. There will be no darkness around your business. The light of God will illuminate your life, your family, your business, and your destiny. Will divine light from heaven, illumination, and the Lord will give you direction. This week, the Lord will order your steps he will guide you in the right path that you should go. Because the light of God is shining upon you, you will not walk into error this week. You will not walk into mistakes. You will not walk into trouble. You will not walk in a wrong path. You are divinely guided. You are divinely led by the Spirit of the living God and, the light, and, the, and by the light of God that is illuminating your paths, illuminating your business, illuminating your destiny in the name of Jesus. This week, the Lord God will be your shield. The Lord will be your shade from the sun. He will shield, he will defend, he will protect you. You will be divinely protected in all your ways. God will keep you from evil. Because the Lord is your shield, he will protect you from the arrows that flies by day and the evils that walk at noonday. The Lord will preserve your going out and you're coming in. The Lord will shield you under his protective arms. He will cover you with his wings as feathers. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he will bear you on eagle's wings. Throughout this week and beyond, you will be born divinely on the wings of the grace of God. You will be born on the wings of his mercies. You are protected. You are covered. You are shielded. Your children are divinely covered this week. The Lord is the shield for all your children. The Lord had said, I will be a wall of fire round about him and the glory in the midst of her. God is a wall of fire. or be a wall of fire round about you, round about your children. Where your children are, they are divinely covered. They are divinely protected. So the Lord is a son. The Lord is a shield. The Lord will give you grace. The Lord will give you glory. This week, you will not lack the grace of God. You will not be an alien to grace. You will not be a stranger to God's mercy. The grace of God will advocate for you throughout this week. Your things will be done under the grace of God. The grace of God will be revealed in all your endeavors in the name of Jesus. The grace of God will cause your things to happen this week with ease. Your things will be with ease. Because of the abundance of the grace of God, the manifold grace of God in operation upon your life, you will not know any struggles. Your things will not be hard. Your things will not be tough. Your things will not be difficult. Your things will happen and work with ease. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree ease upon your life and upon your destiny. The Lord will give you grace. The Lord will give you glory. This week, you are stepping into the realms of glory. The gates of glory are opened unto you. The doors of greatness are opened unto you. The gatekeepers of glory have surrendered the keys. They have handed over to you. They have been subdued and they have submitted. For through the greatness of God's powers, his enemies shall be subdued before him. Your enemies are subdued and they submit themselves to you because of the greatness of the power of God at work in your life. The gatekeepers of glory have submitted. They have given up. Your place is guaranteed in glory. 
and this week you will be ushered into glory by the Spirit of the living God and by the power of the Most High. You are ushered into your realms of glory in the precious name of Jesus. This week, nothing good will be withheld from you. Every good thing you desire shall be handed over to you. God will compel your helpers to deliver to you. God will compel your benefactors to deliver to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the man who has been assigned to divide your portion for you and with you shall divide your portion with you in the name of Jesus. What belongs to you will not be given to another person. No power will sit on what is yours this week and beyond. Any power, any force that wants to rob you of your glory this week is condemned. They are condemned by the Spirit of the living God in the name of Jesus. Again, I declare, you will not be a stranger to glory. You will not be a stranger to grace in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Somebody listening and saying this, amen. You will not tell stories of once upon a time glory in the name of Jesus Christ of, of Nazareth. Your destination is glory. That is where you are headed. And so the hand of God will take you into glory in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Today, we take authority over the gatekeepers of glory. We command them to open the gates for you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make room for you in glory this week. God will make room for you in greatness. This week, in that your profession, God will make room for you in glory to the praise of his holy name. You will be connected to a door opener this week, a gate opener upon someone who will open doors and open gates unto you. There will be divine connection for you, your destiny, your business, what is your, your interest, your destiny. Your business, your interest shall be mentioned where it matters this week. As Joseph was mentioned to Pharaoh and sent for, so will you be mentioned, so will your business be mentioned where it matters. And you will be sent for in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You will walk your ways safely this week. You will not dash your foot against a stone. You will not fail, you will not fall, you will not stumble. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your life is divinely preserved this week. Your life will not be wasted. In the name of Jesus, this week God will arise for your sake and he will deliver your desires to you. You are meeting your butler this week. Your butler will mention you before the Pharaoh. You are meeting the man who will help you this week. Your destiny will not lack help. This very week, help will come for you. The month of October ends this week. The month of November starts this week. And so I pray every negative you no longer want in your life shall end with this week. In the name of Jesus, before this week gets midway, your desires are delivered and God's name is honored in your life. You will end this month better than you started it. And the month of November shall profit and prosper you. It will be a November to remember. In the name of Jesus, God's grace, God's glory will be evident upon your life. You enter into glory. You operate in wisdom. The wisdom of God will cause your face to shine and the boldness of your face shall be changed. You will operate in the wisdom. The spirit of wisdom rests upon you. Your words will be with wisdom. Your actions will be with wisdom. Your thoughts and behavior will be with, with wisdom. Wisdom shall profit and prosper you and God's name shall be glorified. I declare this week is your best week so far. It is a week of blessings and a week of glory for you. You will have something great to show this week and God in your life will be honored. Your ways are prosperous. Everywhere you go, his presence will go with you. You will not walk alone. The angels of the Lord will accompany you. The goodness of God and the mercy of God will accompany you and God will be honored in your life. So shall it be. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. It is a great week for you. And God will cause you to prosper in all that you do this week. In the name of Jesus. I invite you to join me later tonight at 9 p.m. for day 28 of our 30 days of glory. This program ends on Wednesday. So I invite you to please join today for day 28 
And don't forget, we're getting ourselves anointed for the glory of God to break forth upon our lives. 9 p.m. The handle is at Yemi Grace Man on my YouTube and Facebook channel. The Lord bless you as you do. Support daily impact with Grace Man. Support with your prayers. Pray for this program. Pray for me also. You can also support this program by forwarding this message and sharing the link with your contact. You can also support this program financially. Your financial donations and support can be sent to the Zenith Bank account number 12161006456. The account name is Daily Impact with Grace Man. Until I come your way again tomorrow for another exciting edition of our program, I am Jemmy Grace Man Adulogy, wishing you a very glorious week and the Lord bless you.